Okay, well, we're going to move to the question and answer period. Um, I'm uh, sorry to say that we really do only have 20 minutes, uh, so I'm going to have to impose a couple of limits here. First of all, I'm only going to call upon working press members, so uh, only working press members, please raise your hands for these questions. And second of all, please limit it to one question. Uh, we, we don't have time for, for any long speeches at the moment. Uh, so please, anybody who has a question, please raise your hand. All right, first I see Natalie. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Natalie Stuckey for Foreign Policy. Uh, in the past, you have been involved in the negotiations of the release of other hostages in your career. Now, are you now in touch with uh, the ISIS commander? If so, what are you discussing with him? And as for the raid that you were victim of on October 6th, uh, I think it was also due to investigation on a Hokkaido student uh, who was allegedly plotting to meet with ISIS members in Syria through you and through Mr. Konakata Hassan. So could you make any clarification on this raid? Thank you very much. えっとですね、あの、どのようにえ、あの、イスラム国側との交渉をするか、え、ディスカッションをするかという問題なんですけれども、え、私たちは私も中田先生も10月の時点まで、え、ユカワさんをえ、から身代金を取らない、え、殺
the situation back to the state that it was three months ago is the second thing that we need to ask. Of course, what has been widely broadcast uh, uh, and publicized is the fact that um, the uh, Islamic State uh, made uh, this change because on uh, January 17th, Prime Minister Abe um, promised $200 million uh, to, for humanitarian uh, aid. And uh, the Islamic State uh, persons uh, took this in a very negative way, saying that Japan had joined the Crusades and the money would be used to kill women and children uh, in our state. Uh, first of all, if they do truly believe what, they just, what um, I just said, then obviously that is a serious misunderstanding. And the first step that we would do is to try to uh, uh, resolve this misunderstanding and explain what the true situation is. If, on the other hand, they know that this is not uh, uh, the truth at all and they're just pretending and using this as an excuse, then their fundamental stance has always been that they base all of their activities on Islamic law. And one of the tenets of Islamic law is that you cannot lie. You cannot uh, pretend that you know don't know something when you actually do. Uh, and it, another uh, tenet is that you, you cannot uh, threaten or hurt or punish a person who has not caused you any harm. Uh, so again, uh, the first thing we have to do is find out what exactly has happened over the past three months, what it is uh, that we can do, Japan can do, to bring the situation back to what it was in October where things were much more peaceful. In regard to your second question about the Hokkaido student, um, uh, of course, uh, what has been broadcast widely and what the police have been repeating over and over again is that uh, I and um, Professor Nakata were trying to send this uh, university student to uh, the Islamic State to fight uh, over in Syria. However, uh, first, I was the person that first met uh, with this young man, but um, after that, other media people from the Yamuri and other media have met with him as well. And, uh, all of us are of this, were of the same opinion that this young man has absolutely no intention of fighting uh, for the Islamic State. I've met him three times, and I th think he is a man who simply just simply says whatever uh, seems convenient uh, for the moment. Every day he uh, has a Twitter account. He's always twittering about wanting to have sex with women, etc. But there is no indication in his daily um, uh, uh, comments about wanting to fight uh, in, in Syria. Uh, so this kind of, he may, he's very, very flippant with his words, careless with his words, but I think the police used his words as a way to crack down on me, as an excuse. えっと、アイ、アイシスの構成メンバーでエジプト人グループなどからですね、こちらすでに危ないからもう連絡するな、そのアドレスはあの削除しろと言ってるアドレスから抜け抜けと連絡をしてきてるケースがありまして、向こうから連絡
おそらく世界で最も無能な捜査機関といって間違いがないと私は確信しています、そしてその捜査機関がおそらくこの北大生を接触して、に接触して、彼がイスラム国に行く意思がない人物であることはおそらく分かっていたでしょうけれども、そこでストップがかからないのが組織としての無能たるゆえんだと思っています。彼らはイスラム国に行こうとしていたテロリスト予備軍を食い止めたという実績が欲しかった。そのために実際にはありもしない危機を煽って日本人全員あるいは世界中を騙して捜査を捏造したのですということだと思います。Uh, the、uh, actual division of the Public Security Bureau,、um, it's called the Foreign Affairs, perhaps、uh, Department Number Three, I guess would be a literal translation,、uh, which was established a few years ago. However, they have not been able to、um, have any great successes、uh, since、uh, they were established. In fact,、uh, they have been more renowned for the mistakes that they have made. For example, they have gathered a great deal of information in, in Japan about Islamic related activities, and they have、uh, had a leak so that all this information was released、uh, to the world. In other words,、uh, I have heard、uh, different stories from different sources uh, 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 from, uh, from time to time about、uh, the different kinds of、uh, work that they have done, and most of it has been done on、uh, false pretenses. They don't have solid evidence, and yet、uh, they may try to make cases, etc. But、uh, the point is,、uh, they have never had a great success, and they want desperately to probably have a great success. I believe it would not be an overstatement to say that this、uh, department is probably the least uh, competent uh, investigative、um, police authority. Uh, organization in the world. Uh, and um, they had the opportunity to meet with the Hokkaido、uh, University student. And I am sure that、uh, very soon after they met with him, they realized that this young man absolutely had no desire or no real intention to go to、uh, Syria and to fight with the Islamic State. However, Uh, it is an indication of an incompetent organization that once you start the ball rolling, even if you realize that the ball is rolling in the wrong direction, you can't change course. And so、uh, they wanted so very, very much to be able to proudly、uh, de declare a success that they had stopped a person going、uh, into a terrorist organization and prevented、uh, terrorist activities. However, as a result of their incompetence and as a result of their wrong decisions, they have put、uh, Specific Japanese people's lives in、uh, danger. They have created a very critical, crucial situation uh, for, uh, for all of Japan, and they have really tried to deceive the world. Harry. Um, Harry Fawcett from Al Jazeera English.、Um, you're saying the situation now is very different from the one that you found last year. that... Uh, we have a group which has killed these, in these sorts of situations before, show no hesitation. They've given this 72 hour deadline. So, do you, do you see any prospect for survival for these two men? And if it does end in the worst way, I'm sure the Japanese government would say that it's entirely the responsibility of ISIL and not of the Japanese government's actions. So, how would you respond to that? そうですね。あのえあえっとまあ三ヶ月前よりかなり状況が変わったということですね。七、はい、十二時間というデッドラインがあの、はい、出されているわけでございますが、この二人の人質が、はい、まあ生存し続けられる可能性をどう見てらっしゃいますでしょうか。はい、そしてあのもし何か悪いことが起こりましたら、これはそのイスラム国のせい、はい、あるいは日本政府のせい。まあ日本政府はこれはあのえイスラム国のせいにするというふうに思うと思うんでございますか。えー、あの状況は。ほとんど今、絶望的だと思っています。イスラム国は、ああやってビデオで殺害予告をした人間を確実に殺害してきました。ビデオ予告された後で助かった人はいないんではないですかねあの助かったケースというのはビデオで予告される前にお金の交渉をして解放された人間に限られているでお金の要求はすでにあったらしいですけどもその後ですでにビデオの予告が出ているでおそらく2億ドルを払うなんていうことは全く現実的ではありませんので相当絶望的な状況に陥っていると思います。ここでえーあのほとんど望みは少ないですけれどもそれでも、えー、助けられる方法があるとすれば、えー、イスラム国と直接対話するしかないで直接対話できるチャンネルを私と中田先生が持っているのに日本政府が今、えー、活用しようとしていないとしか思えない、えー、これは、えー、最大の問題だと思いますそして、えー、もし、えー、最悪の事態が起こった時に誰が悪いのかもちろんアイシスが、えー、責任があります、えー、ただし、えー、その状況をに対して、えー、対策することができたのにしなかったのは、えー、日本政府というよりも日本の捜査機関、えー、外事参加でありまして、第二の責任者として、えー、外事参加は責、えー、められるべきところがあると思います。
So, um, to be very, very honest, uh, I believe the situation is becoming rapidly uh, very close to hopeless. And the reason why I say that is that uh, the Islamic State uh, uh, organization, once they have announced publicly that they are going to uh, kill a person, uh, they almost, they always, frankly, do. I do not believe that there has ever been a case where there has been that kind of a presentation uh, and a threat and that person was later spared. There have been people who have been held hostage and who have been released, but it was uh, they were released before it went that far. They were not presented in that kind of a video. Uh, there were some payments made, and uh, they were released before it got to an actual thread and a deadline of that nature. Uh, I have heard that there were actual requests uh, that were made for money before uh, that video went uh, online, but apparently uh, things were not done fast enough. And certainly we're now at the point where that video is out, that deadline has been presented, and a payment of $200 million is frankly quite unrealistic. Um, so the, it looks quite, quite hopeless. However, if there is even one shred of possibility of hope uh, that remains, I think the only thing to do is to try to find some way for the Japanese government to be able to communicate with uh, the um, ISIS organization. And here I've been presenting, and I think Professor Nakata has been presenting, uh, our positions that we do have potential channels of communication. And the fact that the Japanese government refuses to use those channels is something I think that is the biggest problem that I see about this case. Uh, if this uh, the case, the situation turns out in the most horrible um, conclusion possible, then of course ISIS will bear tremendous responsibility. But I also believe that um, as a secondary party, uh, this uh, investigative organization that I've been talking about, which is a department of the uh, Tokyo Metropolitan Police, and it is the third foreign affairs uh, division. Um, I believe that they have a tremendous responsibility because they could have done something and they did not uh, if this terrible situation comes to pass, and they should certainly be condemned for it. Joel, we'll have the last question. Uh, Joël Lejean from RTL uh, France. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, there is a saying that the best prophet is the best guesser. I think it comes from a Greek, from Kikero. Um, so I would like to ask you a question, because that's a question everybody asks today. I mean, is it better to pay the ransom to save lives? Or is it better to be firm and not pay the ransom? And at this level, is there a transition possible, as the Islamic State people said? Why don't we help more the refugees, the people in need in the regions? Is it a transition possible? Is it a negotiating tool with the Islamic State? すみません、あのえーまあ、みんながちょっと聞かなかったことなんでございますが、あのえーまあ、これはなかなかお答えしにくいことかもしれませんけれどこういう状況にありますと、やはりその身の代金を要求されたときには支払うべきなのか、あるいはやっぱりその毅然とした態度でそれを支払わないべきなのでありますでしょうか、そしてもうちょっとそのトランジションということを使っているのでございますが、その移行というんでしょうか、今度最悪の状況からもうちょっと良い状況に移るようなその体制というのを取ることはできないんでしょうか。つまりもううちょっっとそそのの現地で、まあ、そうやってその、えーまあコミュニケーションチャンネルになれるような、えー、その体制を取る作っておくっていうのが、えー、ありえるんでしょうか。トランジションがっていうのはえっ、ー、と、yeah, Joe, can I explain what the transition, what you meant by a transition? うん、そうですね。もうちょっとその例えばその、えー、日本が大案を出すというんでしょうかその、まあ、殺すっていうのではなくもうちょっと中間的な解決策を提案するというそういうようなことを提案できないかということでございますか、えーとあのえー、身の代金を払うべきか払うべきでないかというと、えー、僕の意見は払うべきでないです。えー、払えば払ったお金で今 ISIS、ISIS は活動しているのがかなり明らかになっている、えー、犯行が繰り返されるだけだと思っています。で、あの他に手がないのか、こちらから提案ができるのか、提案はできると思います、いくつもできると思います。彼らが最初に言っていたように、イスラム法廷を開いてくれればいい、えー、そうすれば、えー、こちらから承認を立てることもできます。であの完全無罪が取れないとしてもです、ね、例えば、無知打ち刑で許されるならば、それは首を切って殺されるよりはましです、あるいは、なんかあの
イスラム法に懲役刑は普通はないかもしれないんですけども彼らは懲役刑なんてのはやらないかもしれないですけども、まあ、懲役刑を出すとしてもそれはその場で殺されるよりはましです、えー、そういう形であの少しでも、えー、情報を引き出すという手はあるかと思います、えー、一つには、えー、彼らが常にです、ね、本音と建前を使い分けている組織だと私は見なしているんですけども本音とあの建前を使い分けている以上こちらは彼らの建前を、えー、あの主張するという手があると思います戦い方としてですね彼らはイスラム法イスラム法と言ってるんだからイスラム法に従えばこうでしょということで言えば、えー、少なくとも後藤さんを殺す必然性はないはずです。Um, in regard to、uh, your question about whether one should pay ransom or not, my fundamental, and this is my personal opinion, is that you should not pay ransom uh, because uh, it is very, very clear if you do pay ransom, uh, uh, Islamic State group has already demonstrated that once a person or a government or an organization pays ransom, they will repeat、uh, this action、uh, with the expectation that they will be able to get more money in the future. In regard to your second question about a transition or other proposals、uh, that could be made, of course, many proposals uh, can uh, be made. And I believe one way to deal with、uh, these persons. These people is that、um, we should go back to what they were originally talking about, which is that they wanted to hold a trial based on Islamic law.、Uh, and if we、uh, have this trial,、uh, then we can send witnesses. And even if we cannot get a 100% innocent a verdict, at least perhaps we can have the, uh, uh, the sentence muted down to something、uh, less drastic than a beheading. Of course, being flogged、uh, is a terrible punishment, but it is better than being beheaded. And at present,、uh, in, under、uh, Islamic law, they don't. Have prison terms, but something that could be something that we could propose and it could be perhaps、uh, considered, and that would certainly be better than being uh, killed. Um, the point is, when you deal with uh, the, uh, these groups, you must always remember that uh, they have uh, what they really believe in their hearts and what they are saying uh, in, uh, on the face of things, they, what they say publicly. And you can take what they say publicly and use it as a tool to work with them. For example, they are talking about the importance of Sharia law, the importance of ha- having a court trial. Then we can push for them to use that. And, that,、uh, and if we can have A, a court trial based on Sharia law, then at least we should be able to get Mr. Goto spared. Well, unfortunately, that is all the time we have uh, today. Uh, he has another appointment that he needs to go to quickly.、Uh, as you might imagine, he's in de- quite in demand today.、Uh, but before he goes,、uh, we are going to give him an honorary one year membership to the FCCJ. So thank you very much for coming to us on such short notice and under such difficult circumstances. ありがとうございました。And for those of you who are working journalists who want to、uh, question him or get quotations or such, he can stay just about two minutes to exchange Meishi with you before he runs. So thank you very much for coming today. ありがとうございました。よろしくお願いします。